Here is a very important application problem of inverse functions. I've always seen this kind of problem in the test. So please go through it very carefully, right? And try to do this question on your own. Height ht in meters of the ball falling from a building is given by the function h of t equals to minus 5 t square plus 1 to d5, where time t in seconds uh, is where time t is in seconds after the ball is dropped. State domain range of h of t. Determine inverse of this function. What does this signify? Write domain and range of h inverse t. So that is the problem, right? So to find, so basically the case here given to us is of a ball falling from a building and at t equals to zero, the ball is dropped from the building. So the time is greater than or equal to t. And this equation is valid till the ball hits the ground. So what we need to figure out is the time when the ball hits the ground. At that time, height is going to be zero, right? So that is what we need to find. So first thing is we'll equate height to zero and find what is the time when the ball hits the ground. So we'll rearrange this and say 5t square equals to 125 and t square equals to 125 divided by 5 and that gives us 25 and therefore time is 5 which is square root of 25. Well, let me write square root of 25 equals to 5 and so we have time as 5 right so at t equals to 5 seconds the ball hits the ground and from here we can write domain and range right so domain is time in this case so we can write domain which is in terms of time is equal to t belongs to real numbers so that t is between which is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to Five. So that's the domain of the function and the range is the height, right? So height is the range with respect to time in meters uh, which is given as is dropped when t is 0 the height is 125 and when the ball touches the ground the height is 0, right? So we can say height h belongs to real numbers where it is less than, it is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 125. So that becomes domain and range of our function, right? That's part A. Now we need to determine inverse of this function. That's the main thing which we want to do now, and inverse of the function. So to find the inverse, we'll follow the method of uh, writing the equation as y equals to mx plus b and then switching y and x, right? So we'll write this equation as y equals to minus 5 x square plus 125, right? And now to find the inverse, we'll switch the variables. Let's say x equals to minus 5 y square plus 125. And now we'll rearrange to get the answer, right? So from here, we get, we can bring 5 y square on the left side and then write this as we can we can do like this x minus we'll do x minus 125 divided by minus 5 right and then we'll do square root to get y so squares I'm doing all the steps together I know you can do it by now y we are only taking the positive square root here since we are talking about time which is positive. Now remember one thing. What we did was that we changed height was y and time was x for us when we start. Then we swap, right? So inverse of this function, we can write as t of height now. You understand? I'm using, let me use small d. t of height. So time for a given height, do you understand? That becomes the inverse, will be given by square root of, so we can actually simplify this. If you want, you can write like this, doesn't really matter. 
but it could be written as 125 minus x over 5. But it's one and the same thing. So that is the inverse of the function, right? So you could write h inverse or you could write like this also. This is a better nomenclature to use since we can answer part c also very clearly from here. So that is the inverse of the function. So what does this signify? What does this inverse signify? Now, you know, the function signifies height at a given time. Now the inverse signifies time for the given height. Do you understand? So here we were finding out height at a time, right? Now here we are saying time for a given height. So that is the H inverse signifying in this stage. Do you understand? That is what is kind of important here, right? Now write domain and range of H inverse T. So domain and range of H inverse T will flip, right? So earlier what we should do is now domain in this case of H inverse will be domain will be what was the range, right? Do you understand? So here H is your function. Here, x is h. I should have written h here. Height. Height, right? So x is replaced. So what we did here was we replaced x with the height, right? Now this is the height part. So the domain now for us is equal to to this part. Domain is between 0 to 125 because the height changes from 0 to 125, right? So let me write in a different format because I don't want to write too much. So it is with well, square brackets 0 to 125 is become will be my domain and the range will be time and that time will be from 0 to 5. So that becomes domain and range of inverse function, right? So that is how we can do it. Now there are other parts to this question as they may ask you what do you understand by by let us say h of 3. So h of 3 means what and calculate. So h of 3 will mean you have to plug in 3 here and find the value. That is the height at 3. Correct? That is what it means. And if they say find the time when the ball was 100 meter high, right? So in that case you can use this equation. You can find the time when the ball was 100 meter high. So you can use this equation and then you can say well it was 125 minus 100 over 5 and then calculate the time so like this uh, this application you know can be extended what kind of important part here is that in bird problems it is meaningful to write function as as we wrote height as a function of time and inverse as time as a function of height, time as a function of height. If you switch it like this, then it will be, you know, you will understand what this application is really about and you can answer each and every question far better. So, so go through this properly and I do have a test problem which is similar to this, which I haven't really solved much but kind of given you a rough cut. So I would like you to answer that problem properly. Thank you and all the best.